Now, uh, construction has proved to be a real weak spot in the economy recently. The latest data from the Office for National Statistics shows work in the sector is at its lowest in 15 years. Well, we sent Steph out to Stoneley near Coventry to the UK's largest construction equipment exhibition to see hundreds of companies hoping to build up some new orders. Morning, Steph. Good morning to you. Morning, everyone. Yes, as Bill said, I'm at the country's largest construction equipment exhibition. There's around 2,500 bits of kit here, everything from this worth a fiver right up to the machines you can see behind me worth millions of pounds. Now, our country's pretty good at making construction equipment. We're the second largest producer of it after Germany, and about 75% of what we produce is exported across the world. Now, if you're looking at the construction industry as a whole, it's worth a about 7% of the UK economy. Now that might not sound like that much, but it actually it is very important. If you look at how many people are employed in the sector, it's about 2 million people across the country work in construction, building everything from homes and offices to infrastructure. And in terms of the monetary value, well, it's about 115 billion pounds, which uh, it brings into the economy. But it is a sector that's struggling. And if you look at the latest figures, um, the new work in the sector fell by about 3.2% in the first three months of the year. That means it's about 500 million pounds worth of work, which was lost. But as I say, this side of things, making all this stuff that you can see here, that is doing well. I'm going to be talking to the boss of JCB a bit later. They are the, one of the, they are the UK's largest producer of construction equipment and they're doing particularly well at the moment with record profits. I'll be talking to their boss and a lot of other experts a bit later on in the programme. But for now, back to you. They're big, valuable machines. They can do a lot of damage. So oh. I trust you're not getting behind the wheel of any of them. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, no. All right. I might do. <laughs> see you later. That could be very dangerous. Yeah, wear your hard hats. <laughs> now, and, uh, just coming up to 10 to 7, tough times for the UK's construction industry. Recent figures paint a gloomy picture showing output has reached its lowest level in 15 years. There are some signs, though, that things could be improving. Equipment hire is doing well. So we sent Steph to a trade show in Stoneley near Coventry where she's standing dangerously close <laughs> to the steering wheel of a big digger. <laughs> Do not worry, I haven't got the keys for it, <laughs> so I am not being allowed inside. But let me tell you where I am. Have a look. This is one of two and a half thousand bits of kit which is on shore here at the exhibition here in Stoneleigh. Now, this is an industry which is doing okay at the moment in terms of construction equipment. We uh, have, it's this, we're the sec world's second largest producer of uh, construction equipment across the world, just behind Germany. And I've got a guest we can have a quick talk to, Rob Oliver, who's from the industry. I'll scrub that mic off you as well. Morning to you. Yeah. Um, just tell us a bit about how business is at the moment. Well, what we're finding is that sales are rebounding a little bit uh, in steady terms and, and the key thing for us is not what's happening just in the UK but also overseas because about 75% of what we produce here goes overseas. Yeah, uh, it, it is all about exports really, isn't it? It is this... very much so, yeah, and that's why as a trade association um, we work with the UKTI, which is a government trade promotion body. Mm. Um, so with them we go to different exhibitions around the world, in Germany, more far-flung places like Saudi Arabia, we've been to Mongolia even uh, mm. in last year. So um, we, we need to get out there and, and sell and make sure our products are seen around the world and what we are selling it's in areas where they're growing quite well so it's in the economy that the kind of developing up-and-coming economy that's right yes because you know as a lot of uh, countries uh, develop and emerge they need basic infrastructure so they need roads and housing and construction and that's where um, our members uh, can make an impact mm. and is it easy to sell things like this abroad because if you look at the size of it and, and how you're getting it out there logistically does it all work very well yeah it does yes there are some uh, specialist uh, shipping companies and and people that used to moving some really big kit mm. and uh, but of course it's not all about big kit because there are a lot of more specialist providers that uh, supply smaller items of equipment or specialist uh, management system software that kind of thing so the whole industry is not just about the big kit but it's also about smaller things and specialist services yeah. which we're pretty good at in the UK yeah brilliant okay well thanks Rob um, I've got another guest I want to introduce you to as well because the other side of this is of course we talked a lot there about the export market but it's also about the home market here as well and how we can grow things so you're in one of obviously one of the biggest brands is Caterpillar and we can talk to uh, Lee Andrews this morning. Good morning Good to morning. you, Lee. Tell us a bit about how business is for you at the moment. Um, business, it's uh, the, there's, there has been a slight downturn in the market, but what we're seeing at the moment is that uh, we're exhibiting here today with our dealer network, giving us a, a better coverage across the UK. Um, 
What we're also seeing is that uh, the government um, infrastructure investment is, is needed a little bit more. Um, what we're also seeing is, um, is that with the dealer coverage that we've got at the moment is enhancing our market share mm. with cap product. And in terms of regional differences around the UK, do you see big differences? Um, yes, down in the south, obviously, it's all around emissions. So with the Caterpillar enhanced product range with, uh, with emissions, we're, we're seeing an upturn, in the, in, especially in our southeast region. Yeah. What do you mean by emissions? Fuel, fuel yeah. efficiency, um, and obviously uh, CO2 emissions that uh, the Caterpillar are working on with their ACERT technology engines. Yeah. OK, well, thank you very much for your time this morning, Lee. Uh, that's it for me for now. Apparently, I am going to be allowed to drive this one. So see that a bit later on in the programme. We can't afford £228.74 a week. <laughs> I have faith in you, Steph. Do it. Do it. <laughs> Just make sure you know where the brake is before you get in. We know what you like. All right. Uh, do you remember much. the boss? <sighs> Trying to forget it, but yeah. we can't. Construction has proved to be a real weak spot in the economy recently. Official figures show that work in the sector is at its lowest in 15 years. Well, Steph's in Stoneley near Coventry, the UK's largest construction equipment exhibition. Hundreds of companies hoping to build up some new orders and oh dear, she's in I the know, driving seat. I know, I was Hello, dreading Steph. to see what was happening. <laughs> Good morning. Look what I've got the keys for. Yep, I've already been riding around in one of this. This is one of two and a half thousand bits of kit that's on shore here. They range everything from a spanner worth of fiver right up to the things you can see here worth millions of pounds. Now, we're pretty good at making construction equipment. Um, we're the second largest producer in the world and around 75% of the products we make here in the UK are exported across the world. Now in terms of the construction industry as a whole, it's worth about 7% of the UK economy. Might not sound like much, but it's actually very important. If you look at the numbers of people that are employed in the sector, it's about 2 million people building everything from homes, offices and infrastructure. The monetary value of that in terms of what it's worth, it's about 115 billion pounds so a lot of money which is helping the economy but it is an industry that is struggling and if you look at the latest figures well the new work has fallen by about 3.2 percent in the first quarter of this year that's work lost of around 500 million pounds now i'm going to be talking to some of the bosses of the biggest names in this industry uh, jcb i'll be talking to the boss of that company a bit later on and also i'm going to get the keys for this See you a bit later. All right. Where's she going? No, no, really, they no. can't. No, where's she going? She's trying to. No. That looks not. Not good. No, good. <laughs> they saw you coming, Steph. I bet you she has the keys by later mm -hmm. on, though. I hope not. Tough times for the UK's construction industry. Output reaching its lowest level in 15 years recently. Yeah, but there are some signs things could be improving as equipment hires doing well. Steph is at a trade show in Stoney near Coventry this morning. About to hire some fairly big equipment by the looks of things, Steph. Yes, good morning, Sally. Good morning, everybody. You can see some of the equipment in action behind me this morning. This is the UK's biggest exhibition of construction equipment. There's two and a half thousand bits of kit here. Everything from a spanner worth a fiver right up to some of that gear there worth millions of pounds. Now, we're pretty good at making this type of stuff in the UK. We're the world's second largest producer of it. And the biggest company is JCB. We've got the chief executive, Alan Blake, here this morning. Good morning to you, Alan. Good morning. Tell us a bit about how business is for you at the moment. Well, business for us is pretty good. Um, we operate globally and there's lots of areas in the world that are really on fire at the moment. Yeah, tell us a bit about where the growth's coming from because you've got, um, you know, you're making more investment here, aren't you? And you've, you've got growth in lots of different countries. Yeah, well, uh, there's a lot of growth at the moment. Russia's very strong. Africa's very strong. Brazil, India, the Middle East. So there's, there's pockets of real growth and things aren't too bad here in the UK, you know. Yeah, what do you think about the UK market at the moment? Because we've seen the figures and they say that growth uh, in the sector's fallen. We're not seeing growth in it at all at the moment. Well, first of all, I think the one thing to say, the weather's been pretty bad in the UK to start with, you know, so the first part of the year has not been so strong, but we're seeing business really pick up. Mm. We're announcing a fantastic order today, 800 machines from a really great company, A Plant. Mm. A great news for JCB. Uh, I believe actually the UK is starting to pick up. I think uh, a number of the government initiatives are starting to come through. 
So, you know, we're, we're pretty confident so that the UK will be stronger. Quite optimistic on this sunny morning. Great. Well, Always optimistic, <laughs> Well, let's bring in Julia Evans as well, who is from the National Federation of Builders. What, what, do you agree with Alan? Do you think it's uh, picking up a bit? I think, I think the house building sector, yes, there is some sign of growth. But um, in general construction, it's less optimistic. That, that said, there's an awful lot of good going on in the industry. Mm. What we need now is the government to really focus where it's spending its money in order to promote the construction industry. Because it's a great place to work. Yeah. The construction college are here today and um, they're getting young people along to, to think about the industry as a career. So come into the industry and work here because the signs are good that things will improve. At the moment, it's not so great. Yeah, and in terms of uh, the regional differences around the country, do you see a lot of that? There's a huge difference, actually. The London and the South East is a bit of a bubble on its own. The rest of the country, things are perhaps a little more difficult. Mm. Um, that said, there are lots of great small companies out there doing their best to deliver good things for the, for the economy. OK, well, thank you both for your positive words this morning. Uh, that's it for me for now. I'm going to be back a bit later on. I have found the keys for that big digger you saw earlier, and I've been assured I will be allowed to go in it. I won't be allowed to move, but I'll be allowed to show you a bit of it in action. Marvellous. Right, Love that. I like the Love optimism that. too. All right. See you later. It's five to nine. Construction's been a bit of a weak spot for the economy recently. If official figures showing work in that sector at its lowest for 15 years. Well, Steph is out in Stoneleigh near Coventry at the UK's largest construction equipment exhibition where hundreds of companies are hoping to build up some new orders. I was kind of dreading turning around to see what on earth you were up to this time, but that looks fairly safe. Well, I think I'm looking safe at the moment, Sally. Uh, morning, everybody. Yeah, let me explain where I am. This is, as Sally said, uh, UK's biggest exhibition of construction equipment, and it's uh, 2,500 products, anything from your £5 five, uh, spanner right up to this big gear you can see here, worth millions of pounds. Now, we're pretty good at making construction equipment. Uh, around 75% of what we make in the UK is sold abroad, and we are the world's second largest producer of it. But in terms of the construction industry as a whole, well, it's been a tough time for them. It's worth about 7% of the economy. Um, now, that doesn't sound like much, but it's important when you look at how many people are employed. We employ around 2 million people in the construction sector, building everything from homes and offices to infrastructure. And in terms of what it's worth in money, it's about 115 billion pounds but as I say it's been struggling and the latest figures for new work show that it's fallen by 3.2 percent over the first quarter of this year that means they've lost about 500 million pounds worth of work so it is tough times we've already heard this morning that uh, the likes of JCB the biggest producer they have had a new order in this morning 900 machines they've just sold uh, to a company called Fork Rent in the UK so it looks like things might be picking up a bit we've got Julia Evans here who's from the National Federation of Builders good morning to morning. you Julia. So good news from JCB this morning, but how is the construction industry as a whole? It, it is great news from JCB and, and I think we need to hold on to the fact that there are good things in the industry. The industry has been struggling though. You mentioned the weather. That's been a real downer on the beginning of the year and the figures released last Friday were not great. But there's a lot of good things going on as well. The key, I think the key here is that we get government funding into those parts of the sector that really need it. And as most of the construction industry is small to medium sized enterprise, Prizes. Mm. The government needs to have a razor sharp intensity on focusing mm. on those companies that really do need their help. Yeah. So lots of good things, but a long way to go yet. Uh, and big regional variations as well. Huge regional variation. You've got London and the South East where there's a real bubble there and there's lots of activity and people that live there will see building sites going on and cranes going up and all that kind of thing. The rest of the country is less, less buoyant um, and it's really in those sectors that you need to look. So go to the northwest or the northeast, not so great up there. OK, Julia, well, thanks for your time this morning. Before I go, guess what I've got the keys for? Right, Mark. Right, so safety handle up. Here we go. Is that it? There you go. Is that it? Is that as much there as you're allowed to do? Is that, <laughs> is that it? Have you seen, is that have you seen it? the size of this? Keep going, keep Steph. Going, keep Steph. going. Keep going. You're not high enough yet, Steph. Keep going. Ah! Keep going. Keep going. I'm not allowed to touch anything else. <laughs> Just as well. Well, well that's good. done. She is game, that girl. Yeah, good that's stuff. That's fabulous. Well, well done, done, Steph. Now, so long as she knows how to get back down again. All right. See you later. I'm sure she's very safe. <laughs> she got a parachute.